Hey guys, it's RC. It's 7.30 in the morning. Missed Survival. This is episode 6. <clears throat> so last episode, we kind of got things started on our little house, on our second house over here. So let's go ahead and uh, get that finished up if we can. Oh, I am going to have to grab some nails. Okay, we do have nails somewhere. And if I don't, I do have the stuff to make them. Mm, all right, I'm going to grab, let's take half of that and four of those. I do want the extra four. All right, we'll come up here and we will make uh, four batches of nails. That'll take a little over an hour. Boom. And we should be able to finish this bad boy now. And there we go. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to come out from there. Mm. Actually, you know what? Let's come out to there. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do this, though. Because this isn't what I wanted to do just yet. All right, let me rethink this. All right, now they should not be able to get back here. So I want to, all I want to do is take out this corner. And I think that'll be fine. Oh, and I don't have the sticks, but we'll we'll fix that. All right, let's move this. Uh, you know what? I probably do want to put one right there as well. I thought this went farther back, but evidently I missed it. All right, so we need... Remember what I said at the sawmill, once we break these fences down, we actually get all of our materials back all right so that should lock us in from the bear there and I need sticks all right now that should also allow me to Break out those. Uh, there should be some more sticks inside, I would guess. All right. And there they are. And we had one more component, so awesome. We're good there. All right. Um, I'm watching in the distance for the bears. Ooh, a feather. All right, let's uh, get back in and close that. All right, let's let's see here. Did I drop any other sticks or anything? Branches. I do have branches, so we can make more sticks. I've got. Let's make. Uh, 16 just to have some on hand right oh and look we're running out of water oh my god so we're gonna drink some and then we'll just come back in here and fill that bad boy back up and we've got five liters and what do you know bam and then so what we can start doing is filling up multiple bottles all that's good all right so I want all right, we're going to put this there, and then another one there, and one more right there. Now, this one here, I want to cancel, and we want to build that as a fence door, right? All 
All right, so we've got we've moved our perimeter out a little bit. We'll chop these down. And I am going to have a plan for these. You want to be careful not to hit the cabin. <laughs> All right, now we want to come out here and we want to make this safe for us, right? All right, so we're going to go right there. And then we are going to go, actually, look, it's letting us go right there. So we're going to cancel this bottom one build the top one and that actually covers in more of the window awesome uh let's see so we want to do that just to set it and then we can go there i don't know why it does that that's interesting but that's okay all right, so remember why we're doing this. Zombies can climb in the open windows. They can get into our base. Uh, but they cannot get in on this side because, remember, we have that. Now, I do want to move this now. We're going to move that there. And I want to move this right there. And I want to interact. Anything that's in your campfire, make sure you take it out. Because when you destroy it, guess what happens? All that stuff disappears. But, and it doesn't let me loot that for some reason. All right. Um, we're going to come back over here. We're going to rebuild the campfire. And we are all happy and copacetic there. Uh, I am going to move this to right there. And now we're going to come up here and we are going to move that down to the edge here. And that's good. Now the animal guts are 55%. Just have to be careful we don't fall off the cliff over there, right? Oh, I can also chop up these two. Awesome. Get back uh, four more components. And that'll save us a little bit in resources, right? Yes. Now this, I think that can be destroyed. I don't know what it gives us. Might not be a good idea, but we'll do it for the science. All right, it gives us three and a component. Not really worth it. But you know what? That's all right. Uh, we'll do that. Boom. Awesome. All right, so we've, I think we've accomplished a good bit today. Now, what I want to do is you... We're going to start stacking you guys up in the corner here. And it's time to start getting a little organized. Just a note, do not uh, set your anything in front of these windows, because if they do get attacked, if a zombie hits through it, it will destroy whatever's in front of it. So you don't want that happening. I think these will be easier to deal with. Um, I'm going to put them in the corner here and we're going to stack them up and we will stack these up along this wall. And then I think what I'm going to do, those, those uh, ones upstairs, I'm going to make those, the lockers, I'm going to make those for like our armory. That way they're really protected, you know, things like that. I think that's pretty good. And then you, 
I don't think nothing can get in underneath this thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99.9% .9 positive. <laughs> All right, you will walk in here and I think we're just going to stick you sideways right there. I think that's good. All right, so we've got this area built in. Ooh, that doesn't look great, which is okay. I mean, you know, it's that looks a little bit better. All right, so let's see. That These windows are protected by that fence. These windows are protected by that fence and this fence. We've got these protected. And our interior is protected. This doesn't need to be protected because it's up against the stairs, so that's protected. All right, let's get up here. How are we doing on... We are a little hungry, but that's okay. And I've got my hammer and my saw, so we're going to start putting this bad boy together. And this is just going to take a minute. I need four... I am starving. All right, let's go grab some grubs. All right, uh, 27, let's go ahead and eat that one. And I am thirsty, but we're gonna fill up on the hunger first, and then we'll drink last. Because when you eat, especially if you eat salted meat, it makes you thirsty again. Boom, all right. Uh, what time is it? It is, yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and sleep it out. I want to wake up at about five, so one, so about six hours. Let's, let's do seven hours. And I think you'll get woken up, but every time I've, I've just tried to sleep through, it hasn't been an issue. So that's good. Uh, we didn't lose much in the way of hunger or thirst. Okay, I do need, what did I need up here? I needed, it says it's working. That's weird. I thought I needed more wood. Was that just me? Um, I don't think I'm ready to go out there, especially if I can't see very well. We'll want to eventually build some bigger walls up the side, but I want to close that whole area in just to where I have access to it. I may have, maybe I should have built it out this way facing us and we could have built right up to it. Ah, oh, well, live and learn. I wanted, I did want to take advantage of this corner though, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. All right, all of our water is distilled. So you can see we have six liters left. Not a problem at all. And we can now, we're almost to six liters. Remember, this will hold 16, so we can go ahead and dump another 10 in in a little while. Uh, let's see. Oh, I want to build a... I want to build a something. Where's it at? Inventory? Is it on this thing? I don't think it's on here. No? I had to have overlooked it. A basic fire. I'm looking for the, uh, there it is, there it is. All right, I need two logs. Did I use all my logs? Really? All right, that's, that's not good. It is going to be harder to gather wood here uh, just because the bears. That's something I hadn't thought about. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It doesn't look like. Okay. So it is working. That's good. All right. What did I want? I don't remember what I wanted that wood for. I don't recall. Firewood? I don't have any. So, yeah. Oh, I was going to make the, the stump. But you know what? I need the firewood more than anything else right now. Am I out of a... Uh, did I destroy my other axe? That sucks. Oh, I want to show you what you could do with this wood as well. 
And I'm going to pull that out. We're going to put the bandage. Start stacking some of this stuff together. All right, so we got some bandages. Got some cloth. I want the water bottle. Medicine. We'll put that medicine in with it. Most of this I'll always try to do off camera, but you know. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll start a second canister of that. I think my ammo I want to put upstairs. My knives and stuff I want to put all upstairs. So this one can be for components, I suppose. We'll make both of these for components. I do need the other axe. Can those stack? They can. Bottles and a spear. All right, so let's see. More feathers. I'm going to put that in the truck. I want to make sure I'm carrying at least one spare of everything. All right, bottles, branches, sticks. I think I had a feather somewhere else. There it is. Uh, let's go ahead and put the gear there. I'll build a locker or something down here at some point. All right, let's go clean up our inventory up here. All right, I think we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put weapons in this left one. Is that dry? No, that's raw. Okay, uh, weapons in the left one. I've got a knife. I want another bottle. And yeah, that can go downstairs too. All right, we've got that. So ammo. We're going to put the weapon, and then I want this stuff downstairs. All right, but weapon, I've already got one of each of those. I've got a, no, I don't have my pistol, so we need to keep that. All right, so knives, that's fine. What else don't I have? I think that's good for now. I don't need to do this all in one jump, but, you know, I wonder. Yes, I can get out and walk over this. Okay, so if I can close in just the front. No, because I still couldn't get around, right? Still cannot get around. And I cannot. Oh, hello. I can actually get in there and melt. Can I target the, uh, can I target that? No. All right, well, hey, at least I can get out here and melt stuff. That's cool without worrying about anything. So that's something down the road. I guess, first of all, let's, take and fill up our other water bottles there. All right, we have got a lot of stuff we need to make. All right, I have not made the tanning rack yet. I need six lashings. That's why I hadn't made it yet. <laughs> All right, that's okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to toss that on the ground here. Uh, I'm going to toss the log right now. What does it take to make a locker? There it is. Two wood, four metal, and four components. All right. So there's my metal. There's my components. All right. I'm going to put this stuff in here for the time being until till I've got some room. I think we've got the gear, yes. 
uh, tools. Gonna want to pull those out. We'll plop a little bit of food in here for right now. Rocks, gloves. All right, I can put the matches and the tinder back in here. That'll hold that. And I think I've got enough sewing kits. I don't know what all you use that for. I forget. All right, so first thing, if you hit your I cord and you want to make the wood, you can use logs and a saw. Best thing, and you'll notice that gives you four pieces of wood for one log. If we use our saw machine, it gives us six. So you get 50% more. So that's the best way to make your wood with logs. But if you have this processed wood, the scraps, it takes four of those to make one wood. And we've got 12 or we've got 15 of them. So we'll go ahead and make that. And then what we can do is we can store that in here because that's where it would go anyway. So just wanted to show you what that does. All right. Um, so I don't need that. So we'll toss this on the ground. And we wanted to make a locker. That's what it was. So I needed two wood. Yeah, so we'll come back over here. And we'll pull that out. We'll split one. We'll put it back in there. And I want to build that one on this side. And you'll place it. You can always move it after you place it, but just for some reason it's easier to place it from the get-go. And there you are. All right, so what we want to do in here is we're going to put food and extra water. I like that. And let's grab, let's grab that log. And let's go ahead and make, and it takes less time too. You get six in 10 minutes instead of four, I think it was 20 minutes. Eh, five minutes for each four, either way. All right, and so I need four more of these. So we'll do that, we'll split, we'll put that up. And I've got one. Oh, I may not have any, bummer. All right, so I'm out of components again. Not surprising. All right, well, no locker today, boys. No locker for you. All right, you can go back in here. All right. We're going to store you in there. Can I store you? Okay, I can store some of this stuff in there. That's good. That's fine for right now. We're going to go ahead and get some more. Uh, let's see, weaponry, rounds, there we are. And I've got that, and I've got my axe, spear, pistol. That's going to go in my truck. I'm going to carry that with me, and I don't need that one right now because that's 100%. I might want to carry an extra knife just in case I need it and that one breaks because that is possible all right well let me know what you guys think man did our did our little our little dwelling here coming out so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another house up in that corner and we might be able to set some of this up right now. Um, I think we'll go with, oh, there we go. So yeah, I think I would like to build this maybe right along the border there. Right 
right there. And then we can build another one And you see they they do have sideways. We can build this one maybe back there. I kind of like the idea of that. Let's come up here and see how that sticks in. So I can still walk in right there. kind of like the idea it doesn't block it we can walk in between the two posts here or on the right side between the house and the post I think we could get in either way this should block off this corner so this would all be protected inside of here and then what we could do is we could take our small fencing and run it we could take it and run it from, say, the corner of that house out to the right side here on this stairwell. Now, the exit stairwell on both sides, I'd probably put up chicken wire just to hold the, uh, you know, anybody from getting through. We don't want them coming in and out those doors, right? Like the, the exit door to the to the road there and then this one to the outside over here because then they could get in and then that defeats the purpose at least till the time being and then on the outside of that that's where we would build our outer wall that would span from the the, the slope all the way over to this gorge here and that limits the amount of space that we've got to put fencing i kind of like that and then once we block this whole corner and I may have to put something right there. Or once we get the big walls in, actually all of this opens up for use too. And then I could open up that to being utilized as well. So that's kind of the thought process. Still early days, but that is what it is. All right, we are out of meat. I did notice that. Um, so we are going to be needing to be on the hunt for food here in the near future. That I want out in the car. Uh, let's see, nine millimeter. I don't have a revolver. I think that's the hunting rifle and shotgun. All right, so let's just make sure. All right. All right, good deal. All right, so we've got all of our shotgun shells. Everything's fully loaded. Just in case, I do have one spear. I think I made a spare spear somewhere. Just need to find it. There it is right there. Um, hmm. So yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, well, let's put in a cut in there. So we, we got a little bit done. We got another house built. We built our sawmill, not our sawmill, our uh, blacksmith area. We've, uh, we had expanded out our base last time. Uh, we moved everything in here, got a little organization going. We've plotted out the future of our base, right? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So I think what I'm going to do now... All right, I need 10 iron ingots. So I need to go do some mining, but I need to make a pickaxe. So I need eight low quality and some wood. So let's go ahead and start smelting I'm going to need some of that long term, right? So let's go ahead and get that in here for right now. 
That way when we come back, oh, you know what? I can actually move these inside now. I'm not going to be using them anytime soon, I don't think. But uh, we can start putting this stuff back here. No, or not. We'll put it somewhere. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll put one right there. Oh, and I do need to set this as my shelter command, as my active base. Huh? Yeah. He could be molting. Huh? Okay, be careful. Oh, my wife's risking her life. She's running to the store. Get some bags of sweet potatoes. <laughs> All right, so uh, we had to make this our base. I had forgotten to do that. And this one, I do not want it by the by the fence, so we can put it right there. Yeah, nothing can get through there. All right, so. You know what? If I drop this stuff, then I can actually take this. Right? And then we can put it out. And we could do this. Right there. And that gives us more storage that we can now. In fact, I don't need that one at all. And I do want to leave the spark plug. And all this stuff can stay. I don't need a second gas can. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. Next episode, we will be ready to go out. Uh, what I'll do is we'll go out and hit the mine. We'll hit the old mine first uh, because we can start getting some... Uh, I, I want to get some iron right away, but I do need to wait for the uh, forge to melt that down so I can make a smelter. I do need... Shoot, there was something else I needed here. It was, I need more wood. That's weird. The table got sunk in the ground, but that's all right. I don't think that's going to be the end of the world. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and farm some trees. I'm going to do it elsewhere. That way I don't have to worry about the bears. Uh, so I'm going to bring back some wood, some logs, and then uh, I would like some more components, but I want to get the sledgehammer. So the, the goal here is to get the pick made, go out and mine the iron to do the sledgehammer, and then we've got mining and the ability to break up cars much, much faster. Uh, then we want to build uh, one of these nice houses for one of our hostages that we'll rescue. And I do need to then get a... Ah, crap. I need to make this... So yeah, wood first, and then I think we're going to make the, I'm just sitting here, wood first, make the tanning rack, because we should have enough for lashings, because I'll have plenty of sticks and leaves to make two more lashings. We'll be able to make wood, and I've got nails, so I need to get a tanning rack, because we need to be able to make a quiver for arrows, and then uh, we can make a bow, which is going to take... Yeah, that's a basic bow. I'd really like to make the long bow right off the bat, which means I need two. Oh, I have two gears. Hold on. Split one. Uh, what else do I need? Two. Oh, I need ten. Yeah. So, wood again. Do I have wood? Yes, I do. I've got enough wood to do the upgrade. 
All right, bam, that'll take an hour. There's always something else to do. These could, these could go on never ending. All right, so to make the bow, all right, so we need two dried animal guts. We've got that going and we've got sticks. All right, how's it? So another probably two days on these, another two days. But even though I can make that, I've got to be able to make the quiver to hold the arrows or it defeats the purpose. And that takes three sewing kits, four sewing kits, two tape. I need components for the tactical. And the difference is this will hold one stack of eight, two stacks of eight, and three stacks of eight. Just assume make that right out of the gate. And you get eight leather, I think, out of one bear skin. So we've got one right there. We'll kill the two bears out here at some point. And you know what I might do? I wonder if we could build a small fence into here and then over to, over to the corner here and have like a corral and then leave the gate open for the bears to come into. And then, you know, we could stand on this side, kill them, and then jump over, close the gate, and then we've got all day to do our business in here in a protected format. Something to think about. Something to think about. Anyway, we've run long enough. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the save. A like tells me that you like it and want to see more. Don't forget. And I do appreciate it, as always, guys. And, you know, keep coming back. I do appreciate it because I'll keep making them. Take care. Bye.